Yeah, I thought this was a pretty good uh, view of it right here. Here comes the triple injector. Thing darts around really good. So I've got a little tray of goodies here. These are some four inchers. Angling AI 4 incher, and these are all hyper shift, uh, color shift uh, pigments from Dip Your Car. You know, I use a lot of their um, stuff. And uh, these are for a upcoming fishing trip. So these are not baits that I'm selling. You can see I've got some eyes ready to go. Got the Loctite gel ready to go. Here's the uh, other one there. It's my green color shift shad. And then uh, this one over here is sort of a similar color. So looking forward to getting out on the lake and chasing down some fish on the Alabama rigs with those. Here, Landon, do you want to go play with some baits? Yeah, we want to play with some baits? Okay, hold on. Get your bait, buddy. Get your bait. Where are you going to put them? We come out here all the time and he rearranges my baits. And looks like he's going to push the baits way out into the yard and distribute them at will, at which point I get to pick them up. Ah, some German dark beer. This stuff is like a mixture of used motor oil and Coca-Cola, but it's delicious. So with that out of the way, exciting video, uh, if not for anyone else, for me personally. Uh, not only do we have brand new molds, hot off the Angling AI press, but these are also completely different baits than anything I've ever owned. I have never had a drop shot or small finesse worm mold ever in my collection of molds. Um, I think currently uh, the smallest uh, profile worm I have is probably a six and a half inch finesse worm. Um, so this is like something completely new. It's completely fresh. Um, I've never made anything like it. I'm super excited. We are introducing a new mold today. However, the good news is not just for me today getting to play with new molds. Good news also is for you guys. I'm giving away one of today's molds that we'll be using in this video. Which one it is, you'll have to stay tuned for the end when we talk about the mold giveaway. Okay, introducing the brand new Angling AI Action Worm. This is a 3.6 inch bad little cat, okay? And here is the open pour version of it, which we'll look at first because, uh, hey, it's already open and the other ones are not. So 3.6 inches long for anglers and bait makers who um, are like fans of, say, the Berkeley Flatworm or something. You know, this is the mold and subsequent bait for you. So you can see that I have three different mold options here. Well, these aren't different molds. It's all the same mold. However, Josh decided in his infinite wisdom to offer uh, his customers quite a bit of variety here. So you have a six cavity open pour version, okay, for those who want to get real crazy with it. We also have a five cavity injection mold version okay i love new molds just like how shiny they are a little custom engraving there but we'll talk about that later all righty so here is the five cavity all right injection version and you'll see on the injection version the bottom there has sort of that ribbed detail double that here is the 10 cavity and I cannot wait to see all 10 of those bad boys lined up on the runner there. I mean, that's that's a big hunk of aluminum there. So um, there it is, the Angling AI 3.6 inch Action Worm. Three different choices and one of these molds we are giving away. Okay, nice cup of Dead On Plastics Worm Blend there. Um, now, obviously, this being a finesse worm, you know, Obviously, finesse blend would be a good idea. The, the softest plastic that I really use in my rotation is worm blend, so that's what we're gonna go with. And we're just gonna keep it simple with a solid color at first. 
green highlight powder. Something I don't use a lot, but it's always really cool whenever I remember that I have it. <laughs> this is the big, humongous glitter flakes, okay? 0.125. Um, stuff is absolutely, yeah, look at that. Absolutely enormous. So we're gonna add some of that in there for uh, texture effect. Golly, look at that. I mean, they're, they're like twice the size of your .062 stuff. And then we're just gonna top it off with a little bit of small silver. Okay, .015 silver. Okay, so I actually added some .062 flake in there just to uh, break up uh, the, the big flake a little bit, just to fill in some space. And uh, with that big flake, because it will sink, especially in a soft blend like worm blend, you know, that big flake sinks faster. So you really gotta keep things stirred up. And uh, we're gonna try a new injector. This is a six ounce injector, so I'm curious if I can get both molds with it. You know, it's a small cavity, so we, yeah, okay. That's good to know that I could get both of these with my small single injector instead of having to get out the, uh, the larger ones. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, sort of a, well, we'll look at it in the worm. Okay, brand new molds without a scratch on them yet. Obviously the first thing you wanna do is beat them with drumsticks. So join me in the first ever drum roll on the action worm. Let's see how they did. We'll open up the five first. Really hope this color turns out. It looked pretty sexy in the cup. Oh, oh yeah. That is different. I like it. That <laughs> look at look at how big that flake shows up. Yeah. Let's get a little close up. Yeah, you can see the green highlight effect going on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Interesting, interesting. Sort of a uh, shad color almost. All right, this is the moment I'm waiting for. Just to see 10 of these bad boys lined up. Can't wait to laminate this thing. Oh, they're gonna go on that side, no. Super cool though. Let's, uh, yeah, actually, let's take a look at the tail section from the uh, underside and just kind of get some of this. Yeah, you can see that uh, that, um, yeah, there it is right there, that pattern on the bottom. Yeah, and there are the tails. Oh, trying to get a good close up. Yeah, beautiful. Nice, straight, even injection. No dimpling in the tail. Awesome stuff. So let's get them out now. Look at them as a whole string. Yeah, super cool. Little action worms. Old school, culprit, fire, and ice. We need a metric ton of small blue flake on one side, 0.015. Like metric ton. There's no pigment in this color, it's just flake, okay? And then we need to do the same on the other side with small red flake, okay? This is a half teaspoon scooper. We're gonna do three full scoops for each side. And see if that gets us close. You know, that may not be enough flake to really saturate uh, these colors the way that we want them to be. I would imagine that it is enough. Boy, it's close. Um, but these things can be deceiving. You'll think you have enough flake in there and, and then you go to shoot your laminate and you just don't see enough contrast between the two. And just to kind of mix it up, we put some large square cut hologram flake in each side just to add a little bit of texture. All right, and here we go with our laminate. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, that barely like takes any plastic. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all, I am in love. Actually, let me zoom out just a smidge. Look at how awesome this fire and ice is. Look at that. <laughs> Old school, baby. Old school with a slight little touch, adding that hologram in there. Oh, we're out of focus. Like, it's such a bright, flashy color, and we're filming at night, it's hard to get... It's hard to get the best uh, shots of it there, but super cool. Now let's look at the tin cavity. Yeah, here it is in the tin cavity. Super cool. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How about that? Some old school fire and ice for y'all. All right, one more run with the fire and ice since we have uh, some plastic left over. Same orientation, we're gonna do blue on top, which is the right side, and um, uh, the red on the bottom. Here we go. All right, round two on the five cavity. Oh. Always wants to come out on top, doesn't it? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Boom. All right, I know what you're thinking. Here comes the triple injector. Uh, 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 oh, is that it? That's it. Always a good idea to heat up your blending block, uh, especially when it's fresh. You can literally see moisture getting blasted out of that. Watch that, it gets all foggy. Yeah. So anyway, what we don't want is our plastic to get down into this blending block and start plugging up. Okay, so triple injection time. We're gonna try to do a classy, sexy shad. Not a trashy, sexy shad. This is, this is going to be the classy kind of sexy. All right, so obviously we kind of need a blue top, a yellow center, okay, and then a pearlish bottom. So we're going to do three drops of Lureworks Thalo Blue. All right, it's going to give us our blue. It's very, very, very concentrated stuff. However, since that is almost a full cup of plastic, we'll give it a few more drops. Now we're gonna cut this with a little bit of gray pearl, just to kinda, again, cut the blue down a little bit and um, give it sort of a pearly effect, okay? So there's what we have. You can see that pearl is starting to show up. Okay, then a little bit of Dead On Plastics Yellow for the center. Okay, a few drops of yellow there. Then gold pearl to give it its yellowy gold look. Okay, yeah, looking good. And then the bottom color, we are using Dead On Plastics Snow Shine Effect, okay? This is one of their Paragon colors. And it is a just awesome, awesome, brilliant white pearl. Okay, and that's looking a little bit better. All right. Yeah. Nice white pearl bottom there. All right. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, just a little bit of small black flake to each one. Okay, fingers crossed. I have no idea how this is going to look. We might be starting over, but let's give it a shot. When you have some plastic left in one of the plugs, shoot it. 
Oh, and look at that. It landed way up there. Okay, so there is my sexy shad run in the uh, tin cavity. And you can see all three colors are in there. Oh, that's actually not bad. Um, however, I think the yellow is too strong. What do y'all think? I think I need to strengthen the white bottom and maybe less strengthen the uh, yellow. All right, round two on the triple injector with a slightly watered down yellow center color. Okay, and here is the triple blending block on round two. Hopefully that translates into a good bait. Okay, this next round definitely did better. The white bottom shows up just a little bit more. It's not so yellow dominated, which I think uh, ultimately works out a little bit better. Yeah, and you can see the triple laminate there. So just to contrast, eh, here was the first run in the uh, five cavity. You can just see my temperatures were too hot. Things were starting to kind of swirl more. Um, we got much better, more even lamination on the second run there. You can actually see all three layers. And then here it is in the tin cavity. You can see I had a little bit of the uh, snow shine mixing up through the bottom. But if we look a little closer up towards the top, you can see the laminate starts to get clean again. Okay, it is the next day. We have much better lighting because the sun is shining. And uh, I figure, hey, we'll uh, take this opportunity to show you um, a color in the open pour. And um, I have sort of a earthwormish nightcrawler color in mind. Um, so that's what we're going to start with. And then now that uh, we do have better lighting in the shop, of course, we will take a closer, better look at some of the stuff that we made last night and um, take a look at those colors in the uh, sunshine here. Okay, so I have some black mixed with brown with a little bit of like red and black flake in it. And we're basically going to pour um, the, I guess the end of the tips in it, okay? All right. Something like that. Kind of let that set up real fast. And then we're gonna do the same thing up front. Okay. A little bit of that up front and just kind of let it run down slightly okay and then once we um, kind of put these on the heat griddle and really melt them together then all the colors that we're pouring here will blend together thermally okay so now we have basically the same thing but a lighter version of it and we're basically going to fill in okay the middle section so to speak yeah just like that you can see we basically filled it in with that color and that's essentially going to be a laminate now so that's going to be because so this is inverted. We're actually looking at the top of the worm in the bottom of the cavity. So whenever we pull these out, this brown color that I'm pouring right up the middle here, just kind of in that part of the cavity, that's now going to be like the top of that worm. Okay, so we filled them in with sort of this pinkish pearl, um, which is a mixture of this brand new color from Dead On, this red rum here. It's sort of like a rose purple, or, or sort of like a rosy red. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's brand new from Dead On Plastics, and um, I mixed in some black glitter and some white pearl just to cut it with a little bit. Um, so yeah, we'll see if this looks good. Basically, we're just gonna heat it up on the griddle, 
and get it hot enough to where everything kind of melts together. And there we go. Sort of, uh, sort of night crawler esque. Yeah. I might, I might try to pour the heads a little differently. I like how the color kind of goes from this kind of dark brown on top. You can see sort of that pink night crawlerish red that they have kind of under the brown in the body and then it tapers into the darker tails. Okay, there is the spread and I have to say I am feeling really good about this mold. You know, these are the first, I mean, you, you guys are seeing the first few times uh, that I'm using this thing and I like everything that I have here. Um, it seems to work in a wide variety of colors. So, you know, I kind of wanted to demonstrate, um, <clears throat> you know, one end of the spectrum to another. I mean, we have like one of the most old school, bright, flashy, shiny, in your face colors, you know, with uh, fire and ice. And then we have, you know, triple layer, triple injection, sexy shad there. And you can see the three layers. It doesn't get any better than that. You know, we have a see-through color, sort of a shad color, if you will, is what I would kind of think. Something just completely different. You know, none, none of these colors are alike. They're all completely something different using different um, techniques and methods. So, you know, the idea was to not only introduce you guys to the mold, uh, but also kind of stretch its legs a bit. Try to make a bunch of different stuff with different techniques and colors, uh, color ideas in mind. And, uh, you know, as we can see, it laminates really well. It triple laminates really well. Obviously, single colors, you know, the hand pour version, you know, allows for so much creativity. Okay, so I actually put these back in the mold and heated them up even more uh, because I wanted these layers to be blended a little more. So if you contrast this to when we took them out of the molds before, we have a much smoother gradient and blend between colors because we got the molds to a much higher temperature. And uh, I think overall it has a much more natural effect. Okay, so here we have just a basic drop shot rig. We have our uh, little one-aught hook, kind of polymer knotted, so to speak, to the main line. And our tagline down here has a little weight. I wish I had a little bit heavier weight that would stay pegged to the bottom better. Uh, our weight's gonna be jumping a lot. Um, but I wanted to do a, uh, a little tank test. So we'll just kinda nose hook it right there in the front, okay? And uh, we're gonna drop it in the tank and see what happens. Let's dump her in. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, oh yeah, very cool. Thing darts around really good. You know, I'm curious if the flat edge of it makes it behave different than uh, another similar size worm, you know? Yeah, I wish I had a little bit more weight on this. That way, that way it wouldn't be hopping like that, you know? Yeah, look at that. Very cool. And uh, I chose the fire and ice just because I knew that it would be super visible. And um, you know, you really want to use a buoyant plastic. Uh, so for today's video, uh, if you remember, I was actually using the black bucket uh, worm blend, which is the sinking stuff. That is because I did not have enough of the uh, buoyant uh, floating blend. Um, so these are actually the uh, feather white uh, buoyant plastic. I had just enough to run just a few of these, but I did not have enough to do all the colors that we did in this video. Um, that's why I'd use the regular stuff, but I would recommend uh, a plastic that is uh, naturally buoyant. And Dead On Plastics, of course, gives you both options. You have the sinking blend and then the Featherlight Hyper Buoyant. Okay, we have reached the top where we are now going to uh, talk about the mold giveaway. So, I am going to give away the five cavity version of the action worm that we were using in today's video, okay? And what makes this mold special? This is the actual first prototype mold ever of the action worm. Um, this is the one that Josh cut himself uh, in the angling AI shop and 
um, discovered that he had a winner. And here's what's kind of cool about it. He put uh, a little bit of custom engraving in it. You can see it says top. Uh, let's see, it says, uh, or I don't, I don't know if that's right. Right side, oh yeah. 3.6 action worm. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is literally the first one. So uh, we will be giving away the five cavity version uh, that you saw in today's video. Now, to enter the giveaway, surprise, surprise, you need to share this video, okay? Blast it out to your social media. We wanna get a lot of hits on it, a lot of views. We really wanna grow the channel as much as we can. We are working hard to bring good content. Share the video, leave a comment down below that says shared, okay? And then you can write whatever else the rest of your comment is, but it needs to have the word shared in it. And then we will do a comment raffle to choose the winner in a week or so. Um, so very similar to all my uh, giveaways before. Let's get this one blown up and um, good luck to all the uh, contest people. Okay, everyone, we are back inside where it is nice and warm, thankfully. Uh, yeah, I had a blast. Awesome mold, had a ton of fun with it. Uh, it's it's cool to have something completely different like that some uh, just a completely new type of bait to uh, Think about you know last night. I was in bed and I was like man all the color options I can do with this That will look completely different than they would in like my other worms in my mold collection. So uh, super exciting um, Hope you guys enjoyed now if you uh, if you're interested in this mold the action worm Obviously, it's on Angling AI's website. There's a small disclaimer um, when you click on the, the mold options, and it, it will kind of say that uh, there might be some dimpling in the bottom side of the tails. Um, that's just kind of, I guess, due to the shape of the tail. Um, I really didn't notice that. I think I saw it on two of the uh, Fire and Ice. Um, you know there again it's a minuscule thing but uh, i know i know some people might ask about that um i didn't really notice it and honestly probably neither will the fish um but anyway just wanted to get that out of the way that disclaimer is on the website because the mold is already for sale and i checked that out so um any event um awesome stuff hope y'all enjoyed please lots of comments down below let me know which ones were your favorite and good luck to all of the um people who are going to enter the contest.